Hi, hi. How hi. are you? I'm doing well. Good. Please state your name and and your um, what you're studying here at Guilford College. My name is Rachel Campbell, and I am studying forensic biology and psychology, doing a double major. And you and you're a CCE student, correct? I am a CCE student. This well, is my second year here at Guilford. Oh, good, great. Well, Rachel, um, I'm working with the principal problem solvers. My name is Deborah Stevens, and we have. Um, started a project and, and it's called Divide and Conquer. What we're trying to do is determine if there are any um, social divisions or relationship divisions within the students um, at Guilford College, primarily between the CCE students and um, traditional. So I was wondering, I want to get your ideas on if you really think a divide exists between these two, two groups on the campus and how that might affect community as a whole. Well, um, I do believe there are just two very distinguished groups, the CCE and traditional. I don't think we're just one big umbrella. I think there's two. Uh, me personally, I've been in class with both traditional and CCE students. I've been in class where it's mostly traditional and I've been in class where it's mostly CCE. So I've seen quite a difference. I, um, but I've, he I've heard bad things from a student who, who is in mostly just traditional and she's the only CCE student and she kind of feels left out and mm -hmm. students kind of don't even want to sit around her because she's CCE um, so she's kind of like the outcast I haven't experienced that but I I, uh, I do know that um, that you do kind of get looks from from C uh, or sorry traditional students like your CCE uh, I guess because I'm younger, mm -hmm. sometimes I, I get them guessing, like, are you really, mm -hmm. are you CCE, are you traditional, like, if I walk into a classroom, but I know definitely the older students that are um, CCE, and they walk into a traditional student's classroom that you could, you could really tell that they know that they're CCE, and, and they're like, well, what are you doing here, why aren't you going at night, because mostly a, uh, a lot of the traditional students have mm -hmm. the misconception that CCE students only go at night, and that's not true at all so. so do you think age plays a factor yes. in the division yes. what else what else do you think might play a factor in the division or or is there is there something we could identify as causing a divide well maybe the age and maybe uh -huh. the cost of tuition because they I, I believe they are aware that the cost is very different between uh, CCE students and traditional students so because it is a big difference mm -hmm. and they're like wow you know and then a lot of them traditional students that I know of um, I know one particular they plan to graduate and then come back to finish up their second degree oh. as a traditional I mean as a CCE student because it would be ch uh, more cost effective right I understand so um Thank you, uh, Rachel. Any other points you'd like to make about what you would perceive as a divide? Oh, well, well. Let me back. Let me backtrack on that question. Are there any programs that you're aware of that are that we use to the campus uses to bridge um, the divide or increase interaction between um, students? You know, CC students and traditional students. Well, I know that. Each to the traditional and the CCE have their version of the SGA, mm -hmm. uh, but I know that the traditional students have, uh, I think it's called CAB, where mm -hmm. they do their events, and I know that the SGA is working to bridge the gap between mm -hmm. the activities that are hosted by the traditional and the CCE to try to do something together. Thus far, not so successful, but it's a work in progress. Okay. But they have their events in SGA, CCE, the CCE department has their own events, so, you know, each each type of student ha goes to their own type of events mm -hmm. and, and whatnot. So that actually really does facilitate some sort of um, community divide in, right. in our relationship, being, just the events that we have on campus, maybe. Being that uh, CCE students don't go to traditional students' events, and traditional mm -hmm. students don't go to CCE events. Okay. Well, Rachel, I thank you for participating in my interview, and you have a great day. Thank you. All right.